What is going on guys, Quality XA here today and today we are bringing you guys a brand new Sea of Thieves video. So we are back, if you guys want to see some more Sea of Thieves we have a brand new content update coming soon and I will be covering that, just leave a like on this video but regardless let's get right into this information. So it's going to be a smaller video but regardless jam packed full with a couple of bits of information you guys may want to hear about. So like I said previously, the Ebony Flintlock is actually coming back and it's actually being renamed the Ebon Flintlock. So, let's kick off Talk Like a Pirate Day, shall we? Get 10% off your order in Sea of Thieves store for 24 hours. Make a purchase in this time frame to receive an Ebon Flintlock code too. Simply use the code GROG at the checkout. And they also said, on another note, if you have ordered something previous to today and it hasn't yet shipped, you will also receive an Ebon Flintlock code retrospectively. Keep an eye out on your emails next week. Really cool indeed, like I promised, this pistol would come back into the game. Unfortunately, you guys will have to make a purchase to actually obtain this, but in the future, they will be unlocking new ways to actually do it too, but I thought I'd give you guys a heads up on that. Moving on though, we do have some information about the Forsaken Shores that is actually coming out on a different date. So Sea of Thieves actually tweeted after extensive internal and pioneer testing, we've decided to delay the release of Forsaken Shores to September the 27th. Although this may be disappointing news, our focus is on delivering a stable experience. So they basically said they want to squash out all of the bugs and all of the bad stuff happening that is currently going on through testing for this Forsaken Shores update. So it's pretty good that they are going and uh, fixing all of this and making the experience for the update a whole lot better. Personally, I think this is a good idea as well that they do delay this, and but I really cannot wait to get my hands on Forsaken Shores regardless. I really like your thoughts in that comment section below. I've got a couple of games to play before this does come out as well, so it's pretty decent that it is coming out on the 27th, um, in my eyes anyways. And then last but not least, we do have a little bit of Forsaken information. So they did say, Forsaken Shores will include sea posts in the world, a makeshift outpost that has an NPC who can sell items for cheaper. These NPCs can also be part of cargo runs. So really cool indeed, obviously adding more depth into Sea of Thieves, a little bit more end game. So very good indeed and a real good step in the right direction. So yes guys, that's pretty much the video. If you did enjoy, a like would be much appreciated as well as subscribing if you guys are new around here. But as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.